Watch Shaking One Man Two Balls hier. Und zwar ist das hier ein kleines Fun-Video mit dem CSGO Waffenkurs. Das findet ihr im Hauptmenü unter Spielen. Ganz unten steht der Waffenkurs. Ein Zuschauer-Kumpel hat mich mal gefragt, ob ich sowas machen könnte und das mal kurz zeigen könnte, obwohl man das auch selber machen kann. Aber was ihn wirklich interessiert hat, war zum Schluss meine Zeit, die ich in diesem Speedrun oder was, keine Ahnung wie man das nennt, da brauche. Und das habe ich mal probiert. Ihr werdet zum Schluss des Videos auch sehen, dass ich mich darin etwas fange, weil ich unbedingt meine Zeit schlagen will. Ja, das ist eigentlich nur Fun. Viel Spaß dabei. One Man to Balls. Over and out. Peace. Attention, pick up the weapon and shoot five bad guys for me. work with those wooden terrorists. For this next test, we need you to hit that target. Fire in short, controlled bursts. Our firearms can penetrate materials. Hit the target through that piece of wood. Nicely done. You can experiment in the field to find out what weapon can penetrate what material at different distances. Here's an example of something you cannot shoot through, but let's still hit that target. Nice. Now let's get you out into the sunlight and shoot some wood in the head. You haven't forgotten about headshots, have you? We set up this test to demonstrate location damage. Pick up both weapons and let's get started. Check your weapon for a second. These targets will show you how damage is done in each location. Unsurprisingly, shooting someone in the foot is not very effective. The chest is better, but the highest damage is done by a headshot. Take out these two targets and we'll begin the test. Don't forget, shoot in short bursts. Try and... Ignore the timer. It's just for bragging rights. Well done. You switch to your pistol. Nice work. That wood's gonna be terrified to pop back up. Now let's head on over to the grenade range and see how you do against some plastic mannequins. We set up this field so you can play around with the high explosive grenades. Take your time, throw as many as you want. But before you can leave, you have to take out the mannequin in the cage. There are many different types of throwable weapons in the field. For this test, we have one. Kaboom! Nice job. Now let's go test your reaction time at the pistol range. This is about fast reaction times with the pistol. Pick it up and see if you can hit the two targets in under five seconds. Nice. Now pick up the pistol again and do it one more time just for practice. Nice job avoiding that flashbang. For your reward, let's go blow something up. Listen up. Now, unless you're a traitor, you will not be planting bombs in the field, but we want you to understand what you're up against. So pick up a bomb and head on over to bomb site A. Plant the bomb by equipping it and then using it. Now go ahead and plant it inside the blast shield. Good job on the bomb planting, traitor. But you better hurry up. We just planted a bomb at bomb site B, and you only have seconds to defuse it. You can find the bomb site using your radar. Hurry, hurry, that's a live bomb. Good job. You know what would have made the defusing 
faster if I'd remembered to give you the diffusing kit. Yeah, a kit will cut the time in half it takes to diffuse a bomb. Sorry about that. We're done here. Let's move out to the active training course. Here are all the guns available to you in the field. Good to have you back at the active training course. Let's see if you learned anything since your last run. When you're ready, enter the test area and let's see how quickly you can move through the course. Remember your training. Short, controlled bursts. You need to clear each other before you get to Keep going. Switching to your secondary weapon is always faster than reloading. This course is all about... again to improve that time, or you can join us in active duty because you made it. <laughs> 